Next, I'm going to discuss about the trend method of this program. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Here after that, go inside. So after I have taken a string variable, str. And the integer variable, i z and blank. So first is i, j, and blank. And plug in is less to one. So I have console class dot write line method. So whatever in double code that is print to the output screen and whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by str. So at your str value, I'm going to enter m a b a m. So here after I will start from zero and check the condition j less than j equal to str dot length minus one. So total character is five, five minus one. That becomes j become four. So here after check the condition j not equal to zero. So four not equal to zero condition is true. So that coincide if str of i double equal to str of j so i value is now let's do indexing first so this is a zero index one two three and four so here str of zero position m is still and str of four position m is there so both is uh, condition is true so that coincide so there is nothing so here after that go up and decrease the value of j and increase the value of i so i become one here after check the condition three not equal to zero j value is three condition is true so that coincide so at your str of i i value is one and j value is 3. So str of 1 position double equal to str of 3. So a double equal to a condition is true. So that coincides. So add here nothing is true. Again that decreases the value of j. So j is 2 now. And here i increase. So i become 2. Now here after check the condition j not equal to 0. So j value is now 2. 2 not equal to 0. Condition is true. That coincides. So add here str i and j values 2. So str of 2 double equal to uh, str of 2. So 2 position is d is there. So d not equal to d equal to d. So str of 2 position is d and d. So d equal to d condition is 2. So there that coincide. And add here decrease the value of j. So j is 1 and increase the value of i. So i become 2 to 3. Here after 1 not equal to 0 condition is true. So that coincide. So str of 3 double equal to str of 1. So 3 position is a is there. And str of 1. So there also a. So both condition is true. So that coincide. So there is nothing, so not do anything. J gonna decrease. So J is 0 now. Here after I increase, I is 4. Check the condition, J not equal to 0. So 0 not equal to 0, condition is not true. So that not coincide. Here after that, not flow. Follow. If flag double equal to 1, so flag value is 1, condition is true. So that coincide here. Consult cross dot track line method a string is parent row. Suppose if I enter str value a b p k and let's do indexing first. So this is a zero index one. 2, 3. So, add your total character is 4. So, 
that count the length of str so str4 4, 4 minus 1 that become 3 now i value start from 0 and j value start from 3 so check the condition j not equal to 0 j value is now 3 3 not equal to 0 condition is true so that coincide if str of i so str of 0 double equal to str of 3 so 0 position is a is there and str of 3 position k is there so a double equal to k so that condition is not true so that go to else part here flag equal to 0 so flag become 0 Now break a statement comes so that terminates the loop. So here after control comes to this point. If flag double equal to one, so flag value is zero now. The condition is not true. So that go to else part here. Console class dot try time method. So that display a string is not parent row. And here after that out for main function. So first time I enter a string MADM. So this is a parent row string. Next time I enter or a string a double p a k so this is not a parent on a string so this is the try and method of this program Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main method here after that coincides. So, actually, I have taken a string variable str. So, that is an slash to blank space. Here after console calls dot right line method. So, whatever I double code that display into the output screen into the string. And whatever I'm going to into, so that received by as. So one more variable as so enter I'm going to enter a string madam so here after one more variable int alien So s dot length. So length method that count the length of s a string. So data character is five. So alien become five. 
Now here after control comes to for loop. So right here j value start from ln minus one. So five minus one j value four. So this is j and start from four. Check the condition four carried is equal to zero. Condition is true. So that coincides. So str equal to str plus s of j. So let's do indexing first. So this is a zero index one, two, three, and four. So str initially is initialized to blank space. So enter str plus s of j. So j or j value is now four. So blank plus or m. So s of j m is there. So blank plus m cat cat in it. Then str becomes m. Here after that go up and decrease the value of j. So j is now three. Check the condition. Three greater than equal to zero. Condition is true. So str equal to str plus s of j value is three. S of three. So str value is m and s of S of three is a, so m can concatenate with a, so that become m a. Now here after j decrease, so j is two now, and check the condition two greater than equal to zero. Condition is true, so that coincide. So s two equal to s two plus s of two. So s two value is m a and s of two is d. So m a can concatenate with d. Now here after j decays, so j is one. Check the condition one greater than zero. Condition is true, so that coincides. So, so right here, s two equal to s two plus s of one. So s two value is m a d and s of one a. So concatenate, mat concatenate with a. So that become m a d a. Now here after i decays, so i sorry j decays, so j is zero now. Check the condition zero equal to zero. Condition is true, so that coincides. So S T R equal to S T R plus S of zero. So S T R value is M A D A, and S of zero is M. So M A D A can concatenate with M, so that become M A D A M. Here after J decreases, so J is one minus one. Check the condition minus one greater than or zero. Condition is not true, so that not coincides. Here after control comes to if. So at your str value is m a d m and str str value is m a d m and s value is m a d m. So both string is equal. So that coincide console dot right line. So that print s value m a d m and is palindrome. So m a d m is palindrome. Here after that out from main function. So suppose if I enter s value m a d a m and add here k any other character. So total length this is a five index and or total length become six and here six minus one so j become five. So at here, j value start from five. Check the condition five greater than zero. Condition is true, so that coincide. So at here, initially s two initialized to a space. So at here, s of five. So k come first. K can concatenate with space. Here after j decreases, so j is four now. Check the condition four greater than zero. Con condition is true. So k plus s of four. So that become m. Here after j decreases, so j is three now. So k m in uh, can concatenate with a. Now that become d. Here after a m. So when the value of j become minus one, condition false. So here if s t r equal to s, w equal to s. So str is now 
this all value and s value is m a d a m k so both a string is both a string are not equal so that go to else part you have console class dot write by method so s value m a d a m k and print is not parent row so first time i enter m a d a m and s value also come So first time I enter M A D M S value and here S T R come M A D M. So both string are equal. So next time I enter S value M A D M K and the S T R come K M A D M. So both string are not equal. So output come or uh, at here M A D M K is not equal. Is not a parent row. So this is the dry end method of this program. So I hope you guys understand. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.